Hi, I'm going to recap the 2007 action thriller movie, The Kingdom. During a softball game at an American oil company housing compound in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, a group of terrorists hijacks a vehicle, drive around the streets and shoots residents, killing Americans and Saudis. Sergeant Haytham of the Saudi State Police kills the carjackers. A suicide bomber wearing a fake police uniform explodes himself, killing everybody close to him. The FBI legal attaché in Saudi Arabia, Special Agent Fran Manor, calls his U.S. partner, Special Agent Ronald Fleury, to advise him about the assault. Manor is talking about the situation with DSS Special Agent Rex Burr when an ambulance loaded with explosives is detonated, killing Manor Burr and many others. At FBI headquarters in Washington, D.C., Fleury briefs his fast deployment team on the assault. Fleury suspects the assault to be led by Abu Hamza, an Osama wannabe. Although the U.S. Justice Department, led by U.S. Attorney General Gideon Young, and the U.S. State Department hinder FBI efforts to investigate the assault, they say that more U.S. boots in Saudi soil will aggravate what is happening. Fleury blackmail the Saudi Ambassador Prince Thamer into allowing an FBI investigative team into Saudi Arabia. He lets Thamer know that he has confirmation of Saudi royal ladies giving finances in Boston to Islamic organizations, which fund terror training camps in Indonesia and other places. Fleury assembles special agent Janet Mays, a forensic examiner, FBI analyst Adam Levitt, an intelligence analyst, and special agent Grand Sykes, a bomb technician, to go to Saudi Arabia. On arrival, they are met by Colonel Ferris Al-Ghazi, the commandant of the Saudi State Police Force, providing security at the compound. The investigation is being controlled by General Al Abdul Malik of the SANG, who does not allow Fleury and his team permission of investigate. The team has only permission to walk the crime scene. Fleury's team as of now finds the detonator. He speak to US witnesses to gather a few pieces of information. They find a video of the assault on the internet, which was recorded from a high vantage point. With Al Ghazi, they find the structure and figure out that the video was shot from the rooftop. The FBI team is invited to the palace of Saudi Prince Ahmed bin Khaled for a dinner. While at the palace, Fleury convinces the prince that Colonel Al Ghazi is a natural investigator and should to be permitted to lead the examination. With this change in leadership, the Americans are permitted hands-on access to the crime scene. Mays gains access to the dead bodies and finds the steel balls used to cause most extreme harm in the blast. While looking for evidence, Sergeant Haytham and Sykes find the second bomb was exploded in an ambulance. They find the hospital from which the ambulance was stolen. Fleury learns the brother of one of the dead terrorists had access to ambulance and police uniforms. Colonel Al Ghazi orders a special forces team to strike a house, figuring out how to kill a few heavily armed terrorists. Following the strike, the group finds clues, including photographs of the U.S. and other Western embassies in Riyadh. Soon afterwards, the U.S. Embassy Deputy Chief of Mission Damon Schmidt advises Fleury and his team that they have been requested to get back to the U.S. Damon thinks there are five dead guys, and that is the end of the investigation. However, Fleury is not persuaded as these are teens and do not look like senior management. On their way to King Khalid International Airport, their convoy is attacked and incapacitated. Leavitt is dragged out of the destroyed vehicle and kidnapped. Fleury figures out how to wound one attacker. Al Ghazi seized a civilian vehicle to pursue the fourth SUV and the other vehicle holding Levitt into the dangerous Al Sawaidi neighborhood of Riyadh. As they pull up, a gunman fires rocket propelled grenades at them, and a fierce firefight begins. Levitt is tied up inside a complex. While Sykes and Haytham watch the entrance to the complex, Al Ghazi, Fleury, and Mays follow a blood trail and kill numerous gunmen inside. Mays, separated from the others, tracks down Levitt and his assailants, setting up an execution video of Levitt. She kills the remaining insurgents, and Al Ghazi and the team begin to leave. Fleury then realizes there is a trail of blood leading the back of the building. After they enter, Mays comforts a young lady in the apartment and offers her candy. In return, the young lady offers Mays a marble, like those embedded in the bodies of some bombing victims. Al Ghazi sees the grandfather, reaches out with his hand, and offers to assist him with standing. 
At the point when the elderly person gives him his hand, Al-Ghazi sees that the man is missing the same fingers as Abu Hamza al-Masri in the terrorist group's videos and confirms his suspicion that the grandfather is the terrorist leader. Abu Hamza's teen grandson leaves the room and shoots Al-Ghazi in the neck. Then, at that point, he begins to point his firearm at Maze, provoking Fleury to kill him. Abu Hamza then, at that point, takes out an assault rifle, and Haytham kills him. As Abu Hamza dies, another grandkid embraces him, and Abu Hamza whispers something into his ear to calm the youngster down. Al-Ghazi dies on in Fleury's arms. At Al-Ghazi's home, Fleury and Haytham meet his family. Fleury lets his son know that Al-Ghazi was his good friend, reflecting a similar scene before in the film, wherein he comforted Special Agent Manor's son. Fleury and his team return to the U.S., where they are praised by FBI Director James Grace for their exceptional work. Levitt asks Fleury what he murmured to Mays, before in the film, to calm her down and stop her crying over Manor. Fleury answers that he had told Mays, we were gonna kill them all. The scene cuts to Abu Hamza's daughter asking her own child what his granddad whispered to him as he was dying. The grandson tells his mom, the same to what Fleury whispered to Mays, don't fear them, my child. We will kill them all. Please, like and subscribe. Watch now more of my videos. Thank you!